spicy. Welcome to the world of spices. Perhaps you already know, spices are an integral part of culinary cultures around the world. Chilies are native to South America and were first cultivated in Peru around 7500 before Common Era. Today, around 400 different varieties of chilies are cultivated across the world. So why we are talking about them? Don't they hurt? Oh, I avoid them. I cannot handle them. They cause me acidity. I'm sure you may have heard these very statements or even better, made these statements. Let me tell you. Chilies are a source of capsaicinoids, which are a group of 22 known naturally occurring proteins in the capsicum family, responsible for its taste, heat, the spiciness, and may I add, health benefits. Of these, capsaicin accounts for roughly 50 to 70% of the capsaicinoids in a chili. So it is commonly referred as the main active ingredient of chili pepper. It is present in almost all peppers and varies from undetectable to super hot ratings. The burning sensation of capsaicinoids is not a function of my taste bud, but the result of irritation to the transient receptor potential channel or TRPV1 present in skin and digestive tract. The Scoville scale is a measure of capsaicin concentration, pungency, reported in Scoville heat units. The scale is named after its creator, Wilbur Scoville, who devised this method in 1912. Today, better methods such as high-performance liquid chromatography can accurately measure the heat-causing alkaloids. The hottest is Carolina Reaper, with a max potency of 2.2 million Scoville heat units. The ghost paper, you may have heard, is 1 million. They range from zero, no heat bell peppers, to the pure capsaicin 16 SHU units. Our regular jalapeno is around 10,000 Scoville heat units. Experimental and small studies have shown health benefits like reduction of weight, blood pressure, glucose, reduce inflammation, fight against cancer, and antioxidant. So you can only imagine the benefits for the heart lowering blood pressure, glucose and weight indirectly benefit our hearts. Moreover, the cardiovascular system is rich in capsaicin-sensitive sensory nerves, which play an extensive role in regulating cardiovascular function. The antioxidant antiplatelet properties coupled with regulation of energy metabolism translates into benefits for the heart. The fresh green chili contains more vitamin C than citrus fruits, and the red chili more vitamin A than carrots. By the way, this myth of chilies causing acidity is wrong. In fact, they increase, or sorry, inhibits acid production, increase gastric mucosal blood flow, mucous membranes, mucus flow, and help in preventing and healing our ulcers. In a large prospective study of half a million men and women, Consuming spicy food more than once per week led to a 14% decline in death from all causes and when broken down to cause specific death, the results are even more promising with 22% decline in cardiovascular death. So the bottom line, do not shun spices. Go for it in moderation. Do not show off by eating the Carolina Reaper as the tears you experience may not be of joy but pain. Please kindly subscribe, call for your holistic consultation and begin your own journey to health and happiness. Thank you for watching.